what's going on guys what you see in front of you here is a high density polyethylene pipe also known as a PE pipe and today in this video I'm going to show you how how to join a metal pipe how can join a metal pipe to a high density polyethylene pipe like this one here how to join a metal pipe to a high density polyethylene pipe this one here is a steel pipe it's a galvanized steel pipe and the this video I want to show you how you can join it together also I will show you a lot of plumbing techniques so stay with me till the end of this video so the, first, the very first step before joining our metal pipe to a PE pipe is the, you have to cut a thread you have to cut a thread around our metal pipe and you are going to do that using a threading machine so you see here we are threading our metal pipe we, we, we cut some thread around our metal pipe if you don't have a threading machine like this one here you can just visit your local plumber you don't have to buy a, a threading machine if you are not going to do plumbing activity every day but if you if you if you are a plumber you know how to do it i'll not go into much detail on how to cut a thread I've already done that video, the link will be in the description of this video on how to cut the thread around a metal pipe. So now you can see it here, we have already cut a thread around our metal pipe. You can see it. You have to clean it using a piece of cloth and we have cut a thread on both ends of our steel pipe. In order to install our speaker irrigation system that you will see it in the next part so here even if you have already cut a thread you can see that it's still impossible to join a metal pipe to a PE pipe even if after cutting a thread so in order to join it you are going to need to do the following steps first of all you have to apply a thread cell tape around your metal pipe like this one here you have to apply a thread seal tape just rotate your metal pipe around to apply a thread seal tape then after applying a thread seal tape you're going to need a couple of connectors you can see it here this one here are uh, one inch coupling connectors there are a metal connector and also there are a plastic connector you will choose as a one but you can see that they are female threaded from inside both of them are one inch in size and both of them perform the same tasks but for this project let's just use this metal connector here so just screw it and rotate it around your your male thread on your steel pipe in order to tight it together then after that you can see that even after putting this connector we cannot just connect our PE pipe directly instead you are going to need to have a PE coupler like this one here you can see it, that it's a male threaded on one side and on the other side it has got a compression fitting you can see it here so i'm going to show you how you can install this compression fitting there are different designs you can find the different designs most of them but all of this one are one inch in size but all of them just perform the same task so let's just install this one here Put your metal pipe put the cleaning like I show you here. Make sure that you put it in a correct way. There are some rubbers, use the rubbers in the respective position. So, using a little bit of force to squeeze the two together, use a little bit of force then rotate the other side in order to make a tight connection okay you can see it 
can use an adjustable wrench or a pliers to tight the two together in order to avoid the leakage of water. Then after that, apply a steady seal tape on the male steady part of your compression coupling. Like this one here. Then after that, you can connect the female, the male threaded PE compression to a female thread connector and rotate these two together. And that is how you can see that is how we can be able to connect a steel pipe to a PE pipe using just two two kind of connectors. You see it, the material that I've used in this video. So that's how you can connect a metal pipe to a PE pipe. So, but for depending on my project, my project is to install a sprinkler irrigation system. So I'm just going to unscrew this connector and I'm going to put an elbow. I'm going to connect an elbow in order to make the corner around my my metal pipe. I want to install a sprinkler irrigation system so this one here will act as a as a must stand will act as a stand for our sprinkler irrigation system a diy stand for our sprinkler irrigation system so i'm just connecting an, an elbow make the corner around it and to provide the support for so that the water can be able to climb up our metal stand and then after that on the other end, I'm going to connect our sprinkler irrigation, our sprinkler head. So here I'm going to connect a one inch, one inch connector because our metal pipe is one inch and also our PE coupler is also one inch. So you can see that you cannot just connect it in a straight because our sprinkler head is three quarter inch while our pipe is one inch so i'm going to connect this bushing reducer here in order to reduce the diameter of our pipe so this bushing reducer will reduce the diameter from one inch to a three quarter inch in order to be able to fit our three quarter inch sprinkle head so that you can see that here now i'm, I'm i will be able to connect my sprinkle head on a one inch Stand. So that's how you can connect a metal pipe to a high. So that's how to join a metal pipe to a high density polystyrene pipe. You see, it, you have already done it. So in the next video, I will show you how to install a sprinkler irrigation system around your garden. So make sure that you watch that video. The link to that video will be in the description. You will be able to learn a lot of plumbing techniques. So make sure that you watch that next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.